I did a post where I uh, talked about uh, baby mamas and how uh, the practice is devastating the black world. You know, and I said that uh, we in the black world need to avoid uh, premarital and extramarital sex. And you know, it rubs some people off the wrong way. And this is the thing, it's like, it's devastating the black world. Not just in, uh, in, in Africa, also in, in the Americas, all the way in the Caribbean and Europe. You know, it's, I'll give you a very good example. If you take uh, New York, in New York, there are more black babies uh, aborted than have been born. And then of the number that are born, 78% have been born to uh, unwed mothers. And no other race, bar none, no other race has such awful statistics. And it's affecting us. You know, there's a research, and you can find this research online, you know, it talks about um, the black male population in uh, prisons in the United States. Obviously, in African countries, we don't have very good statistics, so we use the United States. You know, overwhelmingly, most people in prison in America are black males, and of the black males that are in prison, uh, overwhelmingly, uh, most of them come from um, a single parent who uh, families, like baby mamas. Now, when we're talking about single mothers, we're not talking about uh, people who were widowed or people who uh, were divorced. We're talking about people who never got married, you know, had sex, and then had a baby. And you know, it's easy to say, well, you know, a single mother they have, I saw someone say, single mother they have a strong backbone. But you're thinking only about the single mother. What about the child? It might be convenient for the mother, but what about the child? You know, it affects children in ways that they would not know until probably they grow up, especially the male child. Not so much female, but the male child affects their sense of self-worth because a boy, he needs his father, you know, around. He needs um, other kids, you know, they have their uh, both parents, and then he doesn't see, he sees only his mother. It affects his sense of self-worth. And it's, there's a very, very easy fix for this in the black world. Don't have sex until you are married. And basically, in the black world, a lot of us are either Christians, Muslims, or traditional African religion. And in all of this, Islam, Christianity, traditional African religion, you know, it teaches morals that you get married and you have a baby. And there's a reason for this. You know, I run an orphanage and I see firsthand the damage that this causes. You know, my staff have picked up, you know, like abandoned babies. So we're looking after them. Nobody gives me money. I do it by myself. And I'm not doing this video for self isolation. No, I, I'm doing it because I'm seeing the damage that it's being caught, that is caused. You know, it's causing. And I'm like, sometimes I cry. And so I want to encourage you. You know, if you're a woman, if you're young, you know, you're watching this, keep your sexual purity. Don't worry. You will get married. Wait until you get married. Have sex and then have a child. And you're going to find out that you, your husband, and your child will have an increased chance of living the John 10 10 abundant life that Christ talked about. My name is Ryan Murphy. Thank you for watching.